Hey folks, here are OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Hudway Glass. This is a pretty interesting accessory that's meant as a navigational aid for your smartphone. It's an acrylic crystal kind of plastic sheath which reflects the display on your phone and once you open up the application which inverts uh, basically the image on your display so it shows up correctly on this piece of glass you can pop it onto a car and then use it for easier navigation the emphasis here is on that transparency which means that you can still see what's happening in your surroundings and there isn't anything obscuring the view it's also just very cool and a way for you to use your phone as a gps as opposed to getting a dedicated unit since most most smartphones these days already has the technology and the maps uh, built right on in. So it sells on Amazon and through the company's website for under 50 bucks, which is fairly affordable. Uh, really, the cost here is, I would say, more t geared towards the app that makes everything work versus the materials themselves, which is really just a clever play on physics. But let's take a quick look at what the packaging is like. So it's, again, going to work with both Android and for iOS. It assists without distracting, works with both day and night, so it does get bright enough if you turn the display on your phone to the maximum setting, and it makes the image a little bit larger it simplifies the experience it only shows you the route as well as the direction and speed info so you don't get boggled down with too many maps or anything so taking things out of this plastic now. all right so on the inside here we have kind of the logo from the company hudway glass drives safely a pamphlet right on top and on the back it tells you how to mount the bottom which is slightly concurved onto the dashboard correctly you can adjust the angle maximum at 53 degrees there's two ways to mount it either on the dashboard or onto the glass position it so that it stays in the correct uh, place in front of your eyes when you're driving and here are the apps that they've designed hudway trip gps navigation and route planning hud widgets which also displays clock as well as other handy tools uh, speedometer as well as your time and date and there's some other proprietary or i should say third-party applications that also works with the hudway so here's terms of use warranty card another kind of um, third-party app, NavMill, so this probably contains a bit of map information as well. So you can find this for both iOS as well as for uh, the BlackBerry app, which is pretty cool. So it works with newer Blackberries as well. So here is the Hotway Glass unit itself in a nice soft carrying pouch. We'll take a closer look at that. There is a kind of cleaning wipe included as well so that you can clean off the dashboard before you attach the mount if you want it to be at a more permanent setup so it gets cleaner and it uh, makes it easier to stick onto place without falling loose. And here are the mounts which uh, will allow you to then you know peel off and then stick onto the flat surface of your car and that uh, prevents it from moving around. So this bottom plate here is really interesting. It's made out of this uh, bendable malleable material and that that's what makes it uh, adhesible even to concaved surfaces. So if you have a dashboard again that's a slightly curved then this still works. You just kind of bend it a little bit and then stick it on. If it's flat it works as well. So it's a pretty smart design going on and then you just attach this onto place. There's also a microfiber cleaning cloth for the acrylic glass itself so that you can wipe it from any smudges or dust that might land over time. Again, the same apps being displayed once again that you can download through the App Store. So let's set this off to the side and take a quick look at the contents and design of the glass first. So here it is. Essentially, again, it's a piece of plastic, which is uh, cleverly engineered so that the angle here reflects light and allows content to kind of be visible. You can see if I put my hand here, you can kind of see its reflection. The same thing goes with the display, and since the display itself is a lot brighter, you can see the content easier as well. It's slightly curved inwards, which also makes it easier to read uh, anyways, so it's an optimal condition. The pad here where the phone sits, you can see, is uh, made out of the soft touch material that is very soft, won't damage your phone, and also prevents it from sliding off. There's a center grip, which is made out of the same material as the base that sticks onto the dashboard, so it also adds some additional adhesion to the phone. There's a company's logo embedded on the very bottom there. Uh, you can see the Hudway glass, and that's essentially it. It's pretty slim. It's easy to also remove and uh, then take with you if you need to travel or you know pop it onto a different car. So everything does seem to work fairly well as far as the setup. Let's take a closer look material. at some of the apps supported by the Hudway glass, and some of them are also designed by third-party uh, 
programmers as well as uh, enthusiasts through the Play Store. So I've downloaded three of these, the most common ones. The first one is designed by Hutway themselves. It's just the regular app. Uh, basically requires you to have GPS or cellular connectivity open. And uh, afterwards, you sign in, it finds your location, and you just have this pretty easy interface uh, that uh, routes you to your nearest destination. If you want turn-by-turn -turn directions that are offline, uh, they do charge, I believe, $2.99 a year for that subscription service and that renews itself so it's not completely free but the app itself works nicely enough um, it's simple so that is the selling point as opposed to super uh, you know filled and jammed with features but it works fairly well as far as accuracy is concerned it does kind of depend on the GPS capabilities of your of your phone as far as you know the processor uh, whether the antenna is, is strong enough but in general it did work pretty well Right now I have a phone here with the display on full brightness. You can see that everything remains pretty visible under the Hudway glasses curved display and you can kind of adjust the angle as well just depend on what you want to see. And you can see that even in non-specific navigation apps it still works and you get this mirrored reflective surface that is pretty easy to make out and you know everything definitely is visible because it has this filtered or polarized lens effect, you know, everything on the back here isn't as visible, so light uh, does tend to reflect just from the screen part, which is good, and at the same time, you definitely still have a bit of transparency to see uh, maybe your surroundings, what's going on around you. So the next application is called the Holo HUD, and uh, this is really a third-party app that just displays your GPS status in addition to your compass, so what direction you're going, if it's north, west, south, east, things like that. And you can see right now we have it in these uh, reflected mode, which makes it perfect for things like the Hudley glass, which you know shows off its capabilities. It looks like it's hovering in front of you. It works pretty well. Uh, the angling here is a little bit, uh, I would say, slightly finicky, so you do have to make sure the phone is completely aligned, and it's not quite as futuristic looking as some of the advertisements might seem, just because you still kind of see the borders on the phone, and alignment for more or less, it's not going to be perfect, even if you kind of adjust the angle, if you play around with the position of the phone, you'll see that uh, you can get it to an ideal position but it's definitely not perfect but it's bright enough to be read and that is the main important thing and here's also a very simple way of displaying quick access content if you don't want to use this particular mode and you just want to have the phone be placed on the dashboard you can also turn off the hud mode which is the mirroring function and it can also play around with some other things that you can display including the colors so let's take a quick look at what we can do for that i can turn on red for instance turn down green Maybe make the font color a pink and go back. And now we have this pink view, which you can kind of see socials up really well on the Hudway Glass display here. So finally, we have another application designed by a HUD, and it's called the HUD Widgets. It really is their own way of consolidating some various uh, quick launch apps as well as things you might want to access. So you can see this is designed by the company themselves. Font and everything looks fairly good. Um, there's the speedometers, there are six widgets that you can go through, and it gives you a, a bit of an info about you know how each of them look. Some more traditional designs, some of them are a bit more uh, modern looking. So I can tap on that once, and you can see that it's, it's being displayed on the screen here, and this is what it looks like through this uh, Hudway glass system on the front. I can also go through these one by one, just to give you a brief idea of what this looks like. Um, not everything is mirrored correctly yet, so again, in this specific app, I do need to go through settings and turn on the mirroring function for it to work uh, with this. So let's go back. Some other things. Trip information. I have access to things like the miles, the number of gas and gallons. If you have a, a smart car, it's connected. And there's some also consumption tags, things like that that you can input, and it gives you a quick view. Road, which is gives you a quick widget to um, a speedometer, how fast you're going using the GPS on your phone, and the limit uh, in the city, so that uses some map information. Finally, for main navigation, it's just going to go and uh, open up the main Hudway app, which uh, we showed you before, and it gives you live route information and these very simple lines that tells you where the road is leading and when to turn. Um, of course, there are voice-guided prompts, and it works fairly well, although one slight limitation of this particular design is if you have a phone with the speakers facing down, since it's on this mat, it's a little bit more muffled since the phone itself isn't positioned you know, uh, in a vertical freestanding orientation where the speaker has more room to acoustically reflect um, the sound. So that is one limitation possibly unless you have front blasting speakers in your device. Other features on here, I have a land meter, so some other pretty fancy fonts can be found here. Not all of these will be 
completely useful to the general user, but they are here and it shows that the company will be rolling out with more updates and more features as they become available and more developers jump on board. Here's a weather application. There's also one for radio, I believe. So you can kind of play around with these and it works again pretty well. So all in all, as far as the applications themselves, they're fairly nicely designed. The product itself definitely does work. You can see the display it still remains very visible and it remains bright as well. So you can see everything without any problems, um, even in broad daylight. Uh, so it, Although it, it might not seem like a massive difference compared to just using a regular Google Maps and putting your phone onto the dashboard using a regular mount. Um, this is a pretty futuristic way of also giving you some transparency. So if you're worried about that, this is a good way to go. It's also a conversation starter in addition to being really simplistic. It gives you a quick glance access to information instead of cluttering up with a, a less maybe visually impressive UI UX. And that's really the selling point here. Um, is it absolutely necessary? I wouldn't say so. But at the same time, it does make for a very compelling GPS accessory tool, a navigational accessory tool for smartphone owners. And you can check it out as well. It makes for a decent option in this holiday season if you're considering it as a gift. You can check out more details about this in our official written review. But for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the Hudway Glass.